Thank you all for coming to this assembly. Now, as your principal, I'd like to make an announcement real quick. So even though I've worked really hard for like 20 plus years to get to this rank of principal, I have decided that I really don't like this job and I want to retire. What? No, you're supposed to be sad that I'm leaving, not cheering, not happy. Don't, don't stop cheering. You know what? I don't even care. I'm retiring anyway. So, yeah. As you all know, I have been working here as a principal for two and a half years, but I really don't like the job. And I didn't really like being a teacher for 20 years either. So, yeah. So long, suckers. I'll be retiring in a few weeks anyway. So, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, just go already. <sighs> Another day alone at recess. Hey, Sarah, Casserole, you want to know something really cool? Yeah, what is it? I bet it's so soy and girly pop. It's a secret, so don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, I had so much fun at our sleepover last week, and I want to have another one this week. Oh, I'm so excited. That sounds so fun, Norrell. That sounds so girly pop, Norrell. But I'm afraid I can't because I have to go visit my grandma, who lives out of the country. I'll be there for two months, so I can't. But I should be able to because I'm the queen of this school. I don't know why I can't. Stupid grandma. Uh, hey guys, can I please hang out? I'm pretty bored this recess, and all the boys are playing basketball, and I don't know how to play basketball, so... Yeah, can I please hang out? I've got some things I'd like to say, so... Go away, Tommy. No one cares about what you have to say. In fact, no one even cares about you. Whoa there, that's so sad, but also so true. Okay. I'll just go. <sighs> Beast, it's not class. You know, Sid, I've been seeing you like this for the past few days. You feeling okay? Yeah, just feel alone. Well, Sid, I think you're ready to hear the story of Simon Shocker. Really? Well, I'd like to hear his story, so what happened to him? Simon was alone every day. He stood in the very same spot every recess that you are right now. He just wanted somebody to count on, but his friend at the time wasn't there for him. So his mind grew darker as he had no one, until eventually it went so dark that he started looking for something, and he found it. This thing would change him and this school forever. It was called the Firestone, and it would grant any person who touched it very dangerous powers, such as electrocuting people from your very hands, and another power that I don't know how to describe, but he used it to destroy almost everyone in the school at the time. It wasn't death, it was worse. If he touched them by the head, then they would go into a coma. But this coma would have them living in their mind forever. But they weren't living just any life in their mind, Sid. They were living their worst fear in their mind. They were still alive very much, but in the real world, out of their mind, they just looked like they were twitching, but breathing heavily. I remember the very scene I saw when that happened, because I was one of the only survivors, along with Mr. Axworth. Well, I'm not going to turn out like him, Mr. Valen, but 
I guess I do need someone to be here for me right now, so... Thanks, I guess. But I do have a question. Um... Where did Simon even find this Firestone thing? I don't know exactly. But someone who knows more about the school, I think would. Someone who knows more about the school. All right. Well, yeah, thanks again, Mr. Valen. Oh, well. Time to go in, so, yeah. Good morning, students. Uh, it's me, Mr. Parson. So, yeah, quick announcement before we get to the assignment. Um, yeah, the highest score on the test, uh, for last class was Curtis. So, yeah, congratulations, Curtis. And the lowest score, I'm afraid, was Tommy. So, yeah, sorry, Tommy. Guess that's why no one likes you, because you're a student who fails. Huh. So yeah, now we're going to be going on to some plant science. That's got to hurt, Tommy. <laughs> did you say graded notes, Mr. Parson? Yes, I did, Raymond. But here's the twist. All your notes combined must add up to one million words. And if they don't, well, that's an F. And if you get an F, well, it's a 10-minute long taste. Ha ha ha!